Greetings, greetings, and welcome. This is Rob McRae for the Business Building Network and robmcraenetworking.com. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome all of you and thank you for joining me as we start off this first day of 2018. So I want to wish all of you a very happy new year filled with much success and prosperity. So before we get into um, our 30-day quest for success, uh, I'm going to give uh, just a couple of minutes so everybody can jump on and take part in what we're going to be doing over here. So uh, as, as you guys are, are, are coming on, just uh, leave a comment below and let me know where you're checking in from so I can give you guys a shout out. So let me just... Uh, check out something here real quick just want to share this real quick Welcome, Alan. Good to see you here. I'm going to get started in a couple of minutes, just waiting for some more people to jump on. Alan, let me know if you can see my um, my uh, slide screen that's popping up here. It says Happy New Year 2018. Let me know in the comments below if you can see that, please. Good morning, Elise. Happy New Year to you. Good to see you on board. Going to be getting started very shortly. Just waiting for a couple more people to jump on before we get started. Let's jump into it. 
So once again, my name is Rob McCray, and I thank you all for jumping on board. Greetings and welcome to you. Um, as we start off on the, uh, the new year, uh, which is 2018, and the number eight represents a new beginning. And this is going to be a new beginning, a fresh start for many of us as we on, embark on this journey, which is our 30-day quest to success. And what that all is going to entail, it's just going to be, um, I'm going to be sharing some different tips and strategies with you guys. Um, some things that you need to really start to implement into your, your daily life and um, the things that you're doing. And for those of you that are involved in a business, we're going to use that for your, 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 your business building adventures as well. So the most important thing is building up a strong foundation for yourself, um, not just business, business related, but in your overall and general lifestyle uh, as we speak of. So, so during our 30-day our quest, um, we're going to be implementing different activities on a daily basis, which are going to help you in achieving your goals that many of us have set for the new year. And like I said, 2018 represents a new beginning. So many times uh, when the new year comes along, we, we get very excited about that. Uh, it's a time for a time for growth, a time for expansion, a time for new ideas and new 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 ways of thinking. But as as we bring in and we usher in the New Year's, I know many of us come up with a new a New Year's resolution and things that we want to do for the coming year. And as we get into the year within the first week or two, many times we find that um, we start to put those goals on the back burners. And whether that be uh, something that has us sidetracked or we just, you know, are not passionate, passionate enough about the dreams and goals that we have set forth, we don't follow through on those goals and dreams and desires that we have created for ourselves to propel us into the new year. So this is why I have put together this 30-day uh, quest for success starting today, January 1st, because this year is going to be different. Uh, we're not going to give up on our dreams. Uh, we're not going to let that uh, be something that we don't follow through on. We're going to put we're going to put forth uh, the necessary work and the next necessary um, uh, passion and, and, and involvement that we need to have to make sure that our goals and our dreams and our desires are met. And so, how we're going to do that? We're going to hold each other accountable and you know really push each other to make sure that we don't give up on our, on ourselves and on our dreams, you know, because if we have a vision in life, you have to take that by the hand and really stick to it. So that is just one of the main emphasis of this 30 day quest for success. And I, I hope you all just really dig into that and, you know, really take action and really uh, position yourself in a manner to uh, start to attain and achieve your goals that you have set for yourself in life. All right, so like I said, 2018, the number eight represents a new, be a new beginning. So this is going to be a breakthrough year. And as my bishop has already proclaimed, 2018 will be a year of manifestation. So all the things that you have done into the past, and they may not have worked out as you have envisioned, but all of that work and time and effort that you have put forth is now going to start to manifest itself. 
So I'm going to be sharing some tips and strategies with you guys over the next 30 days to make sure that you stay focused and geared up on your vision, your dreams, and your goals, and your desires for this year of 2018. All right. So let me just go over my notes. I just don't want to skip anything. All right, so we're going to start to incorporate some of these activities into your, your daily life. I mean, um, we're going to create some positive daily habits. You know, it, it, is, it has been said that it takes 30 days, 30 consecutive days to create a habit, whether that be good or whether that be bad. So over the next 30 days, we're going to uh, implement some, some positive daily habits into your life and start to make those daily rituals and routines that you follow on a daily basis. So it would be a, um, a normal activity in, in the way in which you go about living your life. And this will ultimately lead to you generating that ses success that you desire in your life and in your business for those of you that have a business. So just like um, normally when you wake up, the first thing that you do, you, you don't even think about it. It's all subconscious. You, you, you just go to the bathroom. Whether you have to go or not, it's just like an automatic, something that you're going to do. And that's just because it's a built up habit within you. And because, you know, those things that you, you're um, so accustomed to doing, now we want to instill more, more of those positive habits into you as well. So you're doing things that are going to bring forth uh, great results in, in your everyday life and in your business as well. So these are just some of the things that we're going to be focusing on and starting to implement over the next 30 days. So it's very important that you guys really take action and just don't um, be a spectator, you know. Um, the, the only way you're going to really get results and create success in your life is by taking action. And the only way you're going to really, you know, see the fruits of your labor is if you're really you're consistent about putting forth the work. Uh, you're disciplined in, in what you're doing, meaning that you might necessarily not want to do it, but you know that it's going to be beneficial to you, so you go ahead and do it anyway. So those are two of the key points. And then the third thing is um, you need to be very passionate about what it is that you desire. So for those of you that have a, a, a strong passion about your dreams and your goals, you're going to be the ones that are not going to give up. You know, um, in life, there is going to be many struggles, many trials and tribulations that you go through. And just know that um, the harder the fight, the more the resistance that you face, the sweeter the victory it will be when all comes to bear. So just keep that in mind and know that if, it, if anything is out there for you and it is worth having, you're definitely going to have to go through a fight to achieve it. So you, you need to embrace that, be prepared for it, and just know that, you know, you're not going to give up on the battle. And you're going to fight, fight, fight your way through until you achieve your ultimate goals. All right. So let me just speak on our, um, our topic of today. And that topic is, why did I decide to start a business for myself? And then after starting my business, why did I decide to move my business online? Second. 
All right, so initially the reason why I first started a business, now let me just take you back to give you a, a better vis vis visualization so some of you can relate to exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So um, go back over 20 some years ago. Uh, coming out of high school, um, graduated from Irvington High School in Irvington, New Jersey. That's where I'm from. Um, went into the service. So I went into the military, the U United States Navy, did four years. And during that time, I uh, got the, the chance to travel, uh, experience uh, new ways of life, new cultures, met some uh, very interesting people and uh, explore some uh, different customs and, you know, just open my eyes up to some, some different things out there. Uh, but then when I, my, my four year commitment was, um, was finished, I came back home. So then I was looking to get back into the workforce. And when I did, so I wanted to get into the workforce um, in which I had already uh, had a trade in, through the uh, the Navy. So during my time in the service, we worked in the uh, engine room slash boiler room, which is the uh, engineering department, which use, is used to propel the ship. So um, I learned um, a good amount of trades during that time. Um, learned how to generate a uh, steam engine plant, uh, learned how to operate the uh, generators which produce produce electricity and also learned how to uh, operate the um, steam evaporators which ultimately can turn uh, seawater into fresh water it's uh, a three-stage process which they uh, they bring in the salt water into the evaporator coils um, and then that that water is evaporated and then it is sent through another chamber and then it is condensed and turned back into water. And all of the salt is removed from the water. So this was really a very interesting process that if I didn't actually see it for myself, I would have a hard time believing it. But um, when I got back into the workforce, I didn't really see too many job openings in that particular field or that line of work. So um, I did see a lot of positions for a boiler operator, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, even though I didn't have any experience working as a boiler operator, I was familiar with um, the operations because I worked alongside uh, the, bo the boiler operators inside of the engine room. So I decided to go ahead and apply for that position, which I did, but I didn't have the qualifications. So for that particular job, you needed to have a boiler's license. So I went out, um, found out what I needed to do to get a license, got my license, and eventually was able to get employed as a boiler operator. But during that time, uh, I realized that this was more or less a temporary position because most of the, uh, the plants here in New Jersey uh, were just operating their boilers during the winter season. So that meant I will only have employment for four to five months out of the year. And then I will have to go back and find another source of income for myself. So this went on for two years. And then uh, one of the managers at the job that I was working on, he told me, you know, if you get your air conditioning and refrigeration license, then you would possibly have the opportunity to work here on a full-time basis. So that's what I did. I went out to uh, school, got my um, air conditioning and refrigeration license. And then I was positioned to be able to uh, seek employment on a full-time basis so that I had my uh, boiler, boiler's license to work during the winter season. And I had my air conditioning and refrigeration license to work during the spring and summer months. 
So then I applied to a hospital, uh, got the job there, started working there, and it was good. Um, but then this was around the time when St. Barnabas Hospital, which was one of the major hospitals in the state of New Jersey, and they were buying out all of the hospitals within the state. And nevertheless, they uh, bought out the hospital I was working in. And so they were um, bringing in their, their staff when they bought out these hospitals. And so of course, me being on the low end of the, of the totem pole, I had to be released from that job. So once again, I was back on the unemployment line. So that is when it dawned on me that I would never have any type of financial security if I always left my, my job security or my ability to generate an income for myself in the hands of others. So that is when I decided to start a business for myself. And that's what I did. Um, I had no experience, didn't really know what I was doing uh, in the business field, but I had a strong will and a strong desire to succeed. And no matter what happened, I was committed to become successful in my life and in creating and establishing my business. So for the first two years, it was, you know, a difficult struggle. Um, I really had to find a way, uh, talk to some people that were within the industry. And, you know, they told me the things that I needed to, to do and be leery of. And so as time went on, you know, you started to figure things out for yourself. And, you know, you start to move, you start to grow a little bit. And, you know, things start to look a little better. So eventually we, um, we moved the shop. It was a hair salon, unisex salon. And we moved the shop uh, to a downtown Newark area. And from there, I mean, things just picked up tremendously. Um, it was like night and day. That was probably the, one of the best decisions that I ever made in my business ventures. And so from there, you know, business just took off um, and we had a good 12 year run within that business. But the one thing that I do regret from that particular type of business, I'm talking about a brick and mortar business, is that, you know, it, it requires a lot of time uh, from you as the business owner. And during that time, I pretty much missed um, my kids growing up. My two sons I have were well, actually grown men now, but you know, I really miss uh, their childhood years. And those, those years we can never get back. And so that is the only regret that I have with that, that particular business. But other than that, it was a wonderful experience. I uh, met some, some wonderful people, had a really tremendous staff that really, you know, it was like a family within itself. And we really had some good times together. So um, that's when I decided that I needed to find something else which would not occupy so much of my time, but still allow me to generate a good income stream for myself. And that's when I started looking into creating some business opportunities online. And that's what I did. I uh, got into a couple of um, network marketing opportunities, some good, some bad. But let me, let me tell you guys this. Um, when dealing with network marketing, multi-level marketing, or any type of business online, you know, I, I, will, I often hear people say that, um, those type of businesses are a scam. They don't work. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Um, nine times out of 10, these are, are good companies. Um, but most of the time, people just don't know and understand how to work the business. Um, with those particular types of business, excuse me, 
it is a relationship business. So you have to build up that know, like, and trust factor when dealing with people and you're trying to get them involved and create an interest in your business opportunity and the products and services that you're going to be promoting. So one of the things, the most important things that I had to learn and establish was how to brand myself, first of all, and then I had to uh, figure out how to market, how to be able to put my, my business opportunity, my products and services in front of those individuals who actually had an interest in what it is that I was um, promoting. So those are uh, the key factors that you really need to understand and, and really um, build up that skill set if you really want to create uh, success for yourself. And that goes with any type of business. You have to be able to um, reach your target audience. And that is something that I am I'm very passionate about. I enjoy doing. I enjoy helping others um, find their niche, uh, find their market space so they can find those individuals and, you know, just share information about their, their business opportunity uh, and the products and services that they are going to be promoting. So, you know, those are... That is the key element in creating success in your business is being able to market your business professionally. So during this um, this 30 day quest for success, we're going to tap into a little bit of that as far as the, the marketing end of it. But for the first few days, we're just going to build up your foundation uh, build some structure around you, uh, yourself, your family, and then we'll go more into um, creating things that are going to be beneficial to your, your, your business life. All right, so for now, we're just going to focus on building you up, creating positive daily habits that uh, are going to grow with you and you can take them with you no matter what, what you get involved with. Um, we're going to help you grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know, we want, to, we want you to be a well-rounded person in everything that you do. And that will um, help people to want to connect with you and they're going to gravitate towards you because they feel that connection with you. So that is the gist of what this 30 day quest is going to be all about um i want to thank all of you for jumping on board um just wanted to give you a brief insight of what we're going to be doing here over the next 30 days and i, I look forward to seeing you guys transformation and you know seeing some some great results out of all of you guys so like i said before um Leave a comment. Let me know where you're checking in from. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I will be checking out your, your Facebook pages periodically and uh, giving you some tips and pointers or some things that you should be posting and, you know, get more engagement on your Facebook page and your social media pages. Because like I said, it's all about building relationships and you're, you're going to attract the people um, based upon the information that you're putting out there. So if you're putting out positive, inspirational uh, type of information, well, quite naturally, those are going to be the type of people that are going to be attracted to you. All right. So, folks, that is pretty much it for this segment of day one in our 30-day quest for success. I hope you found some some good uh, golden nuggets in here, and we're going to keep this going for the next 30 days, and um, if you get some value from it, please uh, leave a comment, uh, share it, 
tag it with uh, any friends that you might think might benefit from this uh, 30 day quest for success. And I look forward to seeing you guys over the next 30 days. So once again, my name is Rob McRae. It has been truly a pleasure speaking with you today. And I look forward to speaking with you in the coming days. Thank you.